Hey everyone, welcome back to another Dr. Twisted's Toy Time. Got another bin filled with craptastic plastic. First, we are out running errands today, and I found this little ET at a thrift store. Also, picked my daughter up. We were hunting for Halloween costume pieces, and we found something that she wanted. So, we picked her up that up and then I found this ET from let's see it have a date on it oh. I can't see a date on it yet but but I found that onto the bin of stuff remove some of these bags here and let's get started. All right, first off, we got this wrestler figure, Baltard, one of the mini versions. Very cool. I oh, got this Misfits Walk Among Us. I really just love the color combinations. Green and purple is one of my favorite color combinations. So. And this is definitely one of my favorite albums. So happy to get that. And then I also got the purple and pink version. I think I got these both from the same eBay seller at a great price. So couldn't pass it up. And then I got the two original crimson and the one in black love the misfits so that was awesome got this storm shadow from the shadow ninjas just love these love these two ninjas storm shadow and snake eyes speaking of snake eyes here's his version Thought these were awesome. So I had to keep these on card. Some other cool stuff like the uh, wind up skull face from Mad Balls. And here is Hornhead. Love these. Looks like this is another. Star Wars bin, the Macquarie concept, Han Solo. Here's a patch, Rule of the Galaxy. Macquarie concept, Snow Trooper. Such a cool, his designs were so cool. Bone Brigade Astronaut Set. Love these. Very cool. Here's the other Astronaut Set. I loved how they had the comic in the back too. And the little file cards. I do have a video of those back in my catalog of collection videos. Here's the Macquarie Concept Chewbacca. Here's the Boba Fett. Love Boba Fett. Saga Legends. The Battle Damaged Darth Vader. Awesome. And the Darth Maul. They always made his face look a little goofy. 
in the figures. Here is this is from Rebels. Kanan Kanan Jarus Jarus in Stormtrooper outfit. It's like in the new Ahsoka show Sabine Wren. She was always awesome. Hopefully they do her justice in the show. I've been enjoying it, but who knows? There's a Toys R Us exclusive holographic Yoda. Lottery coup. Here is a Realm of the Underworld Yellow Jewel Thief, or Jewel Smuggler, I should say. I've been trying to get all these, so I got the original Remco Conan Red version. I got the yellow version. I believe I have the blue version loose. I don't know if I have the purple version. I think in the video the other day I said I had the purple, but... I had the yellow instead. I got brain farts. I think I still need the purple one. And here is the Grim the Executioner from Realm of the Underworld. Had to make sure to get this one. This guy is just awesome. And I also got the Vulcan Warrior Beast Cyclops figure. So cool. All right. A couple more. Bone Brigade, the like, army troopers. I think the comics. I think the comics the same. Maybe. And here is the other set of those. Awesome. Here's my Amana Man with Salacious Crumb. I remember getting this at KB Toys before they closed down. I think I got them on clearance. I love the Amana Man. Here's the Macquarie Concept Stormtrooper. Just love the artwork. Awesome. And here is the Macquarie Concept Darth Vader. And the Macquarie Concept Boba Fett. Love it. Alright, here is a Star Wars Comics 2-pack, Carnor Jax and Kier Kanos from the Crimson Empire. Love the Emperor's Royal Guard, so when I saw these, I had to get them. I think I have a set loose, too, because I wanted to read the comic, but not 100% on that. Here's a Star Wars, what is it, Pre Vizsla? Very cool. It's a space robot. Darth Vader knockoff. I have a loose white version that was in one of my videos previous. But the black version I have on the card. Very cool piece. The Supernaturals. Ghost Spooks. Turns from a ghost to a, what is that, a leprechaun? That's what it looks like. <laughs> 
Love the Supernatural. This is one of my favorite toy lines ever. And here's a biker mice from Mars. Evil Eye Weevil. The eye really glows. Love this figure. It's so weird. Bones really collapse. Very cool. Love them. Here's the Luke Skywalker and Stormtrooper outfit at Han Solo's in yesterday's bin. There's another Supernaturals. This one is Hooter. Which is the... He's the Owl. And the Wizard. Can't really get a good look. Good look at him. Mr. Mr. Lucky. Looks like a bird and a magician. Here's the Vampa, which is the vampire bat and the vampire. See through. It's like the Invisible Man. I love these hologram toys. Scary Cat, which is the cat and the witch. So awesome. Rags, Evil Ghostling. This is my favorite. The Werewolf and the Punk. Can't remember. It's got to be this one. Or one of. Oh yeah. There's a second Rags, Evil Ghostling, but it's. This is the Mummy. The, the Pharaoh. So I wonder. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, because the I got the two different ones. So which one is the werewolf? Weird wolf. So yeah, I got weird wolf, but he's in the rags packaging. That's weird. So maybe I do have them all. I just have the one on the wrong packaging. That makes me that makes me happy. Oh wait. Here's a weird wolf right here. So which one am I missing? Got spooks, hooter, see through, Mr. Lucky, Scaredy Cat. I guess I have them all. I guess I just have doubles of rags. And one of the rags is a uh, weird wolf. All right. I'm happy now. I thought I was missing one. All right, here is a Godzilla Force, the Ultimate Godzilla Fighters. This is. Does it have their name on it? I don't know, but these are so cool. Love those badges and the armor. Cool, cool odd piece. And here's some of the figures for Supernaturals. Eagle Eye. Love these guys. Got the Eagle. And the Native American. This is one of my favorites. Skull, the evil leader. The Skeleton. And some kind of weird undead creature looking thing. A 
There's a McCory Concept Star Killer. A vintage superpowers brainiac love this one cards a little beat but I had to keep them on the card because I just love this figure so much here's a micro zone radical pocket adventures kind of like a KO Godzilla which the one cave dinosaur and caveman that are supposed to go in there or hiding under there it came loose there's the dinosaur and there's the other figure but it is complete still on card awesome piece love it love it there's a royal emperor's royal guard and the power of the force Cool sticker action going on there. Snake bite from the Supernaturals. He is, I mean, you can't really tell because he's got the helmet on, but he's like a snake. A character. The villains on this one were so cool. Bernhardt. He's like fire. And a devil or something. And here's the lion heart. I've had him loose several times, but each time his arm breaks off. Barely even have to touch it. It's just, for some reason, his arm was just brittle. So he's staying on the card. And then Thunderbolt. It's basically Thor. And Lightning. Alright. Got some of these. They're basically modeled after the old hand finger puppets. But these are Grow. Grow faces. These are only a couple years old, maybe a year old. They might have came out last year, I can't remember. But I know when they came out, I had to get them. These were at the Dollar Tree. They were awesome. And they were definitely worth picking up. Here is a Robocop Alpha Commando. Riot Control. I think this one was pretty rare. I can't remember. She's cool, though. Female Robocop. Kind of reminds me of the one... Like... Girl from uh, Thundercats. The Space Patrol. She was awesome, too. I think they are making a figure of her, or made a figure from her. I can't remember if I saw her in uh, one of these uh, California Comic Con things. The Rebels figure pack, two pack. So, uh, was that Chopper? And what's his name? Garazeb Aurelios and C1. 10p or chopper love love it it's another two pack I just love this character design so I had to get this two pack this guy's pretty cool too it's uh Sidon Ifano first mate Quiggold second Capitaine Quiggold Very cool. Couple, another two pack with the Rebel Commando Pow, 
and the Death Trooper. There's the Seventh Sister Inquisitor and Darth Maul. Had to get this one because they didn't have it. I think this was the only Inquisitor figure they made at the time. I thought they were so awesome in the cartoon. I had to get it. Here's another two-pack. The Scarif Stormtrooper and Squad Leader. More off. Nice. And this is an awesome G.I. Joe two-pack with the Cobra Viper Commando with Serpent Armor. I love that armor, so when I saw this, I have the original white armor, and then when I saw this one, I had to get it because it's the black armor. Here is a General Grievous from the Clone Wars. The first day of issue. Just thought that was neat that they did that. It's a Macquarie concept, Obi-Wan and Yoda. I think this was an exclusive. San Diego Comic-Con International. I think that was the only place you could get it. So I had to order this one from eBay or somewhere like that. And this one was from Celebration 4. R2-D2 and C-3PO. So that's awesome. Here's a Hondo Onaka. He was really cool in the Rebels as, as well. Here's the Ahsoka. In Clone Wars. IG-88, like I said, I'll pick up IG-88s whenever I see them, because I love that character so much. And then after reading, like, the the book, like, the Bounty Hunters, where he's just an insane badass, that's where my love of him just grew tenfold, him and Dengar. Dengar, I always thought, was silly looking. He was my least favorite bounty hunter but then after reading the books he became one of my favorites here is Ellis very cool looking figure here's a Boba Fett from the Saga collection backgrounds cool and this one came with the little Red Darth Maul. This is one of the favorite pieces I have in my collection. My Barbarian Rage Ram Man. He does such awesome work. Love Barbarian Rage. Scott Cherry is one of the coolest dudes on this planet. So happy to have this. I've got a few of his pieces. That is definitely one of my favorites. There's this Weirdos. I think I saw this one at a thrift store. Or a dollar store somewhere. Somewhere where I got it super cheap. It's the only time I've ever seen one. And this guy is awesome. I had to get this. It's my pet monster from Super 7. I think I got him on eBay for like half off though. From what they sell him for. I just thought it was a cool packaging that he's inside the, the TV. And he's flocked. So that. Another one of my favorite pieces. Even though I say that way too often. 
I just love toys, so most of them are my favorite pieces. Like this guy here, the return of the Living Dead Tarman action figure. It took me a long time to hunt this one down, and I actually found it. Went to visit my best friend in Michigan. He took me to a flea market, and they had one there for 20 bucks. And I was like, hell, yeah, I've been looking for this guy forever, and I didn't want to pay the crazy prices on the second-hand market. But this guy is just dope. It's like one of my favorite movies of all time. Love that. Got a couple Swamp Thing figures. Like this snap-up Swamp Thing. Bayou Jack. And Tomahawk. I believe I have them all loose. I might not have the bio glow, but I might. I probably do. <laughs> and there you go, my friends. There is another bin full of coolness. All kinds of just different lines in that one. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like, comment, subscribe, because I have plenty more bins to go. And I still have a couple more in storage. So yeah, stay tuned because I have plenty more daily bin videos to go. Until next time, my friends, peace.